I'd like to talk to you about the mythology used in advertising. And I'm going to start way back with the ancient Greeks. Many modern advertising methods build on mythology that goes way back to the ancient Greeks. Nike would be a good example. The word Nike comes from the Greek goddess for victory. And the logo even uh, is built around the idea of the wing of, the, of that goddess. Uh, so it looks a little bit like the statue of Nike. Ajax, the household cleaner that we all use, is, the name is built on the Greek warrior who cleaned up in battle, hence the battle against germs. So actually mythology is all around us. I'm going to outline a few sort of common uh, structures that are used for advertising. The first one is perhaps the most logical of them. Uh, it relates to using the idea of features and benefits. Uh, features being the sort of all the features on the product or service you've got. Think of your washing machine, has many different program features. Uh, but the benefits are the things that you, the consumer or customer, actually finds useful about those features. Um, so many advertising, uh, simple advertising uh, campaigns talk about a number of features and then they use the transformer uh, device called which means that. And they say these features means that you as a consumer get these benefits. A very common form of advertising. Uh, the features are mostly practical and logical things. The benefits are usually the, the emotional things that make you want to buy the product. Secondly, we can't get through a session on advertising without mentioning the word sex and relationships because many advertising campaigns suggest that a particular product will make you more interesting or somehow attractive or have better relationships with team members or have more relationships in some ways. Um, common examples, of course, include beer, which suggests that you will be somehow more alluring rather than more drunk uh, when you've uh, had enough of the, uh, the product. And, of course, perfume and stuff like that uh, often use uh, that, that sort of imagery and, and uh, mythology to create the, uh, uh, the desire to buy. Thirdly, there's the question of fear and resolution. What do I mean by that? In an advert, someone says you might be worried about someone breaking into your home. And then later on, the resolution is that you fit uh, window, uh, security windows or some other product that uh, seems to take away that fear. Insurance companies and indeed disinfectant companies use this basic uh, model to, to sell you their, their products. The fourth category is the idea of winners and losers. That perhaps in an advert you compare your product or service with some people uh, experiencing it, enjoying it and somehow winning some prize versus a bunch of people that are presumably experiencing someone else's product and losing a, a very common, simple a or B choice type uh, structure for an advertising campaign. The final choice is the idea of not having a choice, that indeed your product or service is the only choice available to solve a particular dilemma or deal with a particular opportunity. This has some attractions, but can of course uh, leave people considering alternatives which you hadn't wanted to. So each strategy has both strengths and weaknesses, and you should weigh them up and come up with an advertising campaign that works for you.